Mohs surgery is a specialized procedure to check for skin cancer, according to Dr. Jenny Nelson of Avera Medical Health. She checks for skin cancer in the face. So if you have a skin cancer like a basal cell or a squamous cell on your face, uh, particularly eyelids, lips, nose, ears, those are really good um, tumors to utilize Mohs for because we want to get a really high cure rate and take a small margin as we can. The patients come to Dr. Nelson after being alerted they have skin cancer from a biopsy. And then in contrast to the biopsy, instead of just taking a little piece of the skin cancer, our goal is to cut all the way around and then under it. It then goes to Dr. Nelson to look at. Then instead of having the tissue sit in formalin and going to a regular uh, histology lab, we freeze the tissue right here and then cut it and stain it so I can look at it under the microscope. She checks to see if the removed tissue is positive, meaning she didn't cut all the cancer out. If we're positive, we can go just back to where it's positive and take more. If it's clear, meaning we got margins all the way around and under that tumor, then we'll go ahead and fix it. Dr. Nelson warns patients about the length of their stay at her clinic, which she says is unpredictable. It's about two thirds of the time we get that tumor out in the first stage, we call it, or the first cut. But sometimes, and it's unpredictable, sometimes it takes two times, three times, four times, five times. And if you're unlucky and it takes that long, then you may be here for several hours to almost the full day. And patients leaving after most surgery will notice a scar on their face. There's no way to take a skin cancer off someone's face without leaving a scar. But Dr. Nelson assures patients that after a couple weeks, the scar will not be noticeable. So I tell people, you know, you're going to notice this for several weeks um, to a couple months. But then my goal is when you're having dinner with someone, no one is going to bring that scar up and ask you about it. You'll see it in the mirror, um, especially when you're you know, using your tweezers or looking in a magnified mirror. You're going to be able to find that scar, but it should look normal and blend in with the rest of your skin.